faster than the actual game itself, though, because I'm running it on a superior system. Yeah. There, so I'm gonna butts with the volume a bit more. That's fair. Now it's too quiet. And I light my obnoxious and loud spider. Like Spyro, Spyro's pretty chill. Yeah, he's he's a he's a cute little fellow. He's got purple. He's got horns. He's got a. Well, he doesn't have stripes, but oh, there's Bianca. Did you see Bianca just fade in, fades in and out of reality? No, I I missed that. A wing shield. Guess what this power does. Nothing. It does one thing and one thing only. Like one specific part in the game? It does this. Oh, he's shy. Yeah, and it's good for only one thing and one thing only. Ah, big grip. Game runs um, like ass even on like a Caribbean GameCube. Yeah. But again, I could run it on like the highest end PlayStation in the world, and it would still run like poo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh wow, Kazintai. Uh, so Nintendo recently put more stuff on their uh, NES and SNES collection. Yeah, right in, uh, and it'll take you to the clouds. Try not to get dizzy. So, so this has one of this is probably one of my um yeah it's probably one of my least favorite levels. It's probably one of the better levels, but it's also the worst personally. Um, but yeah, Nintendo recently added uh some games onto their <laughs> their NES, NES, and NES and SNES collection. Yeah, yeah, and I've I've been playing one of the uh... Earthbound. No, no, uh, Super Metroid. Okay. Yeah, I'm. All I got to do is kill Ridley, and then it's off to the final. Oh, before I even start, I collect a gem. Gems don't do anything in this game, do they? No, they don't. Because doesn't money bags quit? Yeah, he m money bags leaves like immediately. This is only good for information. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk to this dude. Okay, he's basically here to tell me that the uh, the bears can't sleep and have dreams because uh, their lamps are out, and also the dinosaurs are hitting them with pillows. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God! You killed that power star. Oh no! I am killing innocent stars. Oh, here's the next power. Guess what it is. I have no idea. It's ice breath. Oh. Oh. Do you need to bring it somewhere? I'm trying to remember what the buttons are. Oh. Uh, no, that's not. Okay, that's how I get to land. Cool. But yeah, I gotta bring it to the uh, dragon statue. That's what you gotta do. Ah. Uh... Oh man, I am so tired. You're so tired. What about me? I'm a human being. I'm also tired of this You're game, and I just started. You're a dragon, a purple dragon oh, this with is, the this dragon is a, fly. This is an extra challenge. Let's go here. What's it? What, what's the challenge? Do you need to do the challenge to beat the game? Or? I need to collect as many dragonflies as possible. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not like uh, Mario Sunshine? No. Um, yeah, it's no, more Mario like, Sunshine it's more has like the worst. 64. Yeah, Mario Sunshine has the worst uh, aggression, aggression system, system. Yeah. for a platformer. Right, this is the beautiful Rainbow Speedway. Okay, this is the first time we're doing a speedway. Oh. It's Rainbow Road. 
You know, last time I played this game, I did, was in the middle of a rap battle with somebody while playing this uh, level. Really? Yeah. Um, way back when, I was in a uh, public uh, Skype server with um, DJ, uh, the person who at the time was most known for uh, Rainbow Dash the Pirate, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we, we didn't get along. Uh, my own fault, probably. Uh, but ended up in the middle of a rap battle where he was like, oh, yeah, I, 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 I can do the sickest uh, songs and raps and rhymes. And I'm like, uh, I can do that, too, I guess. So we did that, and um, I guess I won. I like to think I won. Who knows? You never know. You, yeah. never, you never know. Maybe he's t he's got a version to this story where he's like, and I totally trounced his butt with my with my yeah. sick ass rhyme about how uh... oh, I are mean... you excited for the new Mario Kart level? Well, I guess the old Mario Kart levels. Like, I guess. Boom. I I I'm excited for Coconut Mall. I like oh Coconut dang it. Mall. Yeah, you can get on the back. Okay, I I, I don't know this uh, the flight paths of these guys, so they're they're swerving out of my reach. Boo! I might have to redo this one. I believe in you. Okay, yeah, I got twenty seconds. I can do this. Machine guns on their beds. What are these bozos doing? Oh, I did it. I won. I'm champion. Nice. Oh, did you see them gyrating? Oh, God. Hey, look what I found flying around while you were winning that speedway. It's a dragonfly. His name is Tashi State. <laughs> Man, do you think he has power converters? I don't probably. You saw that one tweet by that uh, Mark Hamill like buying like uh, a, an AC adapter, mm. uh, a gas station called Toshi. <laughs> he was like, catching, after all these years, I've finally done it." <laughs> uh, have you seen the new uh, episode of Boba Fett? No, I'm like two episodes behind. I think. Ah, uh, fair enough. It's an okay episode. It's got uh oh yeah, your chips is behind, so you know. Yeah. The the big reveal. Well, let's not. No, let's, let's not. But oh, yeah. but we, there is something we both. I, I found I I found the post. It's uh he he's got like a, a power converter, and uh he says I can finally cross this off my to do list. Ah, uh, funny. I love Mark Hamill. He is great. Mark, Mark Hamill's great. Uh, fun actor. I always, oh, yeah. I always forget that he voiced the Fire Lord because he does such a good job. He, he definitely slips into his Joker in the uh, final episode, though, if you really listen. I didn't notice. Uh, fair enough. Hey, Mikey, your, your whiskers tickle, so... This is probably the easiest raceway. That doesn't mean they're good. None of these raceways are good. They're all awful in their own special way. It doesn't look too bad. Mark Hamill's up to these days. Uh, I think he's doing Star Wars stuff still. Let's see. I mean, like, in the news. Hmm. Oh, we. Something well, in the all news he's... did come up recently that we both are aware of. Um. Uh... The new trailer for Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness came yes. out. Yes. I am excited for Doctor Strange Supreme. 
Indeed. Yeah. It, it's good to see him again. Mm -hmm. Now in the flesh instead of weird CG, uh, like, aesthetic. I mean, it, it's well done, so I don't mind it, but yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but like, it's nice to see him in a non-animated form. Yeah, that's fair. Do you uh... think he still has the ball that has fucking Zola and Killmonger fighting for the Infinity Stones? Probably. They might mention that. Hey, don't touch that in, like, the background. In the middle of the, uh, like, a scene together, he's going to, like, touch the, the orb and be like, oh, hey, don't touch that. Oh, maybe he uses it as, like, a weapon. Like, mm. breaks it at, at some point, bringing them in. Oh, that, that could be interesting. Oh, look, my best time. I won the race, by the way. Oh, nice. Um, I do like is... that uh, Sir Patrick Stewart's in it. Oh, he is? He's the person who goes, we should tell him the truth. <laughs> oh, nice. Either that or it was Magneto. I can't tell the difference between those two anymore. Ian McKellen? Ian McKellen, yeah. Hey, I think that I'm excited for uh, Multiverse of Madness. It looks so like a lot I, of fun. Because it's Sam Raimi. It does. Oh, absolutely. I'm a huge fan of Sam Raimi. Like, I love all this shit. Like, Drag Me to Hell, uh, the Spider-Man trilogy. We should, we should definitely watch The Quick it. and the Dead. Just lay down uh, one day. Just yeah. Watch it on the TV. You should watch. Uh, you should definitely watch Drag Me to Hell. I'm not in. It is. I mean, no, it's a I, Sam Raimi horror, Rainey. but like, <laughs> uh, it it it's it's a horror. F it, it's like Cabin in the Woods. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, it's horror, but it has, like, comedy to it. It, Fair it takes it to the extreme. Hey, Mikey um, Kitty, what are you doing down here? My cat's down here. Yeah. The, the plot game, of game it... Is loading. Oh, dear God, please don't... Okay. Got it. The plot of Drag Me to Hell is that this, uh... I think you told uh, me. This girl uh, ends up doing something wrong, and she gets told she's going to go to hell. I mean... Story. Well, what it is is, so this old woman, uh, this old Romani woman is about to lose her house, uh, and she, like, begs the, uh, the bank lady, who is the main character, to please don't foreclose on the house, because she's behind on, like, the, she's, like, a year behind on, uh, payments. loan payment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, uh... She like makes a scene, uh, and and shit, and the uh lady like gr grabs a button from her uh jacket from the bank lady's jacket and curses it so that uh the bank lady will end up being dragged to hell within a week. Mm. So yeah. sort of, um mean-spirited retribution for somebody's just doing their job yeah i mean, I mean it, it, it's not I, like she's going well, out of her there's... way to do it no uh well yeah she's i mean it, it makes it clear that she's the bank lady is not necessarily a good person because she also she she chooses not because it's her job but because she wants to get a promotion there's a position mm. that up and she wants to get the promotion so she doubles down on foreclosing on the the that, that, house to be, to be fair i will say this uh as nasty as that is that is it is still disproportionate retribution yeah so like, like no matter how nasty you are a person they're being dragged to hell is not something nice people do to uh to, to any people yeah but even nice people can be if like the rules of this are like angry old lady uh curses you you can go to hell uh i mean it's about as much of a disproportionate retribution as like the old lady in beauty and the beast cursing the entire uh castle staff uh for the prince 
who shouldn't even have been answering the door. That was Cogsworth's job. No, it depends. Uh, I believe it's uh, it varies from version to version, but the general yeah. idea is that uh, is that the old lady either breaks in, uh, in in some form or another, thus drawing attention to herself during like a big party or something. I have not heard anything about that. I mean, in the live-action version, she breaks in through a window. So. Oh, right. I completely blocked out the live-action version. I like the live-action version. I don't like the Beast's design, and also I don't like the auto-tune on... Uh, on I'm going uh, to be Emma honest. Watson. Okay, here, here's my take I, on auto-tune. I, think they I, I don't like... care about auto-tune. My, my issue is it's poorly done auto-tune. Yes, okay. So, so the reason I... it's poorly done is because uh, under normal circumstances, uh, it would have been done either out of tune from the start or just her voice. But unfortunately, the studio was flip-flopping on whether they should auto-tune it or not. So they ended up recording it um, on set and then not recording a second live version. So they tried auto-tuning the version that was done on the live set. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a mess. Like, I don't get me wrong. I love Emma Watson. I think she's a phenomenal oh, actress. Kitty but cat. I, th I, I really think that in when having a musical, you should go for people who can sing, and then try to teach them how to act. Uh, rather than going for actors and try to teach them how to sing. That's there's that's only fair. been one. There's only been one instance in which they, in which going for an actor and then teaching them how to sing, worked, and that is because uh, Johnny Depp is a phenomenal person. Uh, no, uh, we have a new example for that. Oh, uh, last year Tick Tick Boom came out, which is I an don't Andrew Garfield movie. It's an Andrew Garfield movie. It's a oh. musical, and he couldn't sing, and he took lessons and sung in the movie, and he's good in it. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I, I, I haven't think seen it myself, Garfield... but, pe but people do oh. say that he's good in it. So. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to add that onto our list of things to watch. It's on like, Netflix. I actually should see that. It does look like fun. I like Andrew Garfield. I think he's a pretty uh, solid no. actor. I, he was just in two mediocre films because the script and direction was just two awful. high budget mediocre films. I want to add, yeah, high profile. Uh, dude's yeah. career is still ongoing, which is nice. It didn't kill his career, which I think oh, is yeah. the important part. I I am so glad for No Way Home because he got to actually showcase that he could be a really good Spider-Man with a good script and direction. Yeah. It's all about that, um... Subtle emotions. Yeah. So, you know, he, he gets a good script to play. That, too. Hey, hey, hey. It's, uh, get back here, I, you little... I, I'm always sad whenever actors get saddled with just a really bad script, and then that's what they're known for. It, especially when they are phenomenal actors like uh, uh, Hayden Christensen uh, for uh, Star Wars, yeah, yeah. Well, like there are moments in Star Wars, the moments in which there is no dialogue, in which Hayden Christensen is a it does really well. Uh, like the the dialogue, and that is not Hayden Christensen's fault. It is the fault of George Lucas for writing such piss poor dialogue. To be fair, uh, this was something that was apparently a problem in the original trilogy as well. <laughs> no, but the in the original trilogy they had people to rein them in. In the prequels, it was all him. He no one could hold him back. I mean, and that's enough. why he. Yeah, oh, that's why. Dang he it. Am I am I missing something? 
I don't I, think so. Oh, dang it. There, I, there was one more uh, power converter on the uh, other beam that I missed. Oh, man. Should we go to the Tashi station? No. Um, yeah, Hayden Christensen is a phenomenal actor. Uh, Ewan McGregor and... uh, got away from the Stars movies really well. Yeah. Like... To, to emphasize just how terrible the Star Wars script was, even Samuel L. fucking Jackson was not able to give a good performance in it. What is going so, on there? So, like... Samuel like, L. Jackson is great. He, he was good in even yeah. in Snakes on a Plane. Oh, yeah. He is such a great actor. To be fair, Snakes uh, on the Plane is such a bad movie, and I like it. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's entertaining. En it's entertaining. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it's here, here's the thing: the the plot of the of the story is literally snakes on a plane trying to kill somebody. So if your if your issue is that oh, snakes on a plane to kill somebody is stupid. Like then, don't watch the movie because yeah, because it's that's, the, the that's entire movie it's is very, like that. It's exactly what it says. Like, it do it. Who goes into a movie called Snakes on a Plane and then complains that the movie's about snakes being on a plane? I mean, it's so stupid. But here, here's the thing: the entire movie is stupid, but it's the brand of stupid that you would that you could get into because it's yeah, like Sharknado. I can't get into yeah. Sharknado, on be honest. Oh. But like my my justification is I just, I, I, it, it's such a stupid movie in all the worst ways. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair. What about Ghost Shark? You ever watch uh, that? I've never seen that. That's the one where like the ghost of a shark is killing people, right? Yeah, yeah, and, like swims through the uh, earth. It, like it, 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 it goes anywhere water is, even so. Yeah. Stars. Yeah, the fucking slip and slide. That's the only scene that anyone actually remembers. But it, to be fair, that is a really cool scene. Hey, Mikey, are and you sleeping really on your scratching post? Scene. My my cat's sleeping uh, on the scratching post. It's cute. Snakes on the plane is the brand of cheesy that like sci-fi original movies are, and I mean that as a compliment. You know what's cause... an amazing sci-fi movie? What? Uh, all the Tremors movies. Absolutely, I love all the Terms movies, even even all even the stupid ones made for Netflix. I didn't know there were Netflix ones. Yeah, there's a fifth and a sixth one just for Netflix. Oh. Um, I don't. I think there might actually be a seventh. Ooh. Oh God, do you remember? It, first, it's six, like six, first, it's like, first. It's, I've never heard, seen that one. No. Okay, so it's about uh. It's about these criminals who were building uh, this, like, uh, interstate that goes along the entire, like, cross-country uh, road, and they end up dying very brutally. So now they haunt the, uh, this specific uh, junction, oh, and, dude. like, whenever, like, I, I'm probably remembering, ter like, it's, his name is Ice Boy. Nice. Nice. Nice boy. Um, I'm probably remembering this wrong, but, like, uh, what it is is, like, every year on the anniversary of their death, they haunt the road, and so if you're standing on the road or driving on the road, they will kill you. And it has to get... It's really stupid because, like, but in the best kind of way. Because the people are trying to, like, find a way to stop them or just survive. I don't remember which. But, like, the solution, they figure out that, oh, the ghost can only stand on the road itself. Huh. And so the easy solution is just don't walk on the road. But now they have to, like, try to get back to their... It's, it's the kind of horror movie that you'd see from like Stephen King back when he was making a shit ton of movies you know like the, the, the kind about the killer cars okay here's something crazy 
You see this this uh, set of stairs right here? Yeah. Uh, this happens frequently, but there's a lot of versions of this game where these stairs don't appear. They get glitched out. That's rough. Up. Yeah, and it's mandatory that you climb these stairs in order to get to like the rest of the game because like you just there's not enough uh, dragonflies in like the first area to um. This next. Yeah. You know, okay, oh, that's so I'm gonna stupid. Fly, boom, oh, shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. You're flying. Okay. God, I like sci-fi original movies. They are some of the best cheese. Oh, I thought I was supposed to fly over and like zap these dudes manually. Okay. I am stupid. Okay, now they're all dead. Boom. Give me the dragonfly. I'm actually gonna read the synop yeah, or if, uh, the, if, the if, summary. If, of... if you don't like um, talk to this guy, you don't get the dragonfly. So stupid. His name is Takahiro. Oh, wow. I was way off. Oh, what is it? Uh, a federal witness runs away from a team of government agents tracking him down, but when they take a shortcut on the return trip, they're attacked by zombies. Is that really what it was? What? That, 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 isn't, that sounds like a way different film, actually. If it if that is it, what I recommend is that you actually make go to Sci-Fi or Netflix and you pitch them the story you just told. Maybe that sounds like oh so God. much dumb fun. Uh, it got twenty seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Here's what you do. I'm gonna you uh, you go to Netflix and you tell them the story you just told me. And say, I need this amount of money to get it made. And then you do it. <laughs> even if it's, like, room bad, it sounds like the kind of stuff that, like, even Tommy Wiseau would be, like, excited about. Oh, my God. I would love to get Tommy Wiseau into one of my movies. Fair enough. You know, if Tommy was if, if I was ever a director and, like, I ran into Tommy Wiseau and he's like, Oh, I love to be in your movie. I'd be like, "Yeah, man, I'll Hell write yeah. in a role for you. You can be uh, the psychotic. Uh, you can be killer. the red herring. You can be the, the one who's, yeah, the one who's incredibly suspicious, too suspicious, so they're not actually the killer. You can be, uh, you you can be the, uh, you can be the hero of Suicide Squad three. <laughs> What are we? Some kind of suicide squad? He can be the Joker. <laughs> oh god, he did do the uh, Joker audition once. He he still does the Joker audition. Have you seen oh, he's, his? He's still his, doing uh, it. Have you seen his Twitter page? It's mostly him doing uh, either shilling for uh, his merch, or uh, trying to get people to believe that he can play the Joker. Okay, I think that he could actually make a decent joke. Well. I think he could make an interesting Joker. Thanks for the house, sorry. Yeah, because I didn't do the uh, the the uh, last one. I don't get the job. Okay. Uh, if I did make a go uh, a movie about ghosts haunting a specific stretch of road, there are two actors I would absolutely want in it. Nicholas Cage. Probably with three actors I would absolutely want in it. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Cage. Um. Tommy Wiseau and Giancarlo Esposito. Okay, you're gonna see see this, and you're gonna call bullshit on this. Like, how could anybody know this? You're supposed to do. Watch this. It's supposed to fly all the way down. You can't make that. There's gems on those platforms right up there. What? You see that right there? That thing that I'm oh, looking at right now. That is bullshit. There's, there's gems up there. That is such bullshit. Yes, it is such bullshit. God. But it's in this game! <laughs> Can you imagine how interesting a movie would be with both Tommy Wiseau and Giancarlo Esposito? I'm imagining 
the scene where Giancarlo reveals he's the villain all along and how Maso goes, No, but you were so trustworthy, haha. <laughs> Huh. Anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> uh, honestly, I think that it would be if they were in the same movie. Um, I think what it would be is like Tommy Wiseau would be the hench person that Giancarlo can't like bring himself to get rid of. You know, the oh. one that's. The one that doesn't always do things the right, but they they know en enough to they have skills that make them worth keeping around. Eh, fair enough. Yeah, uh, Tommy Wiseau could play a mad scientist. I can believe that. Like he's a, uh, he's a little mad already. Yeah, like like the kind of mad scientist who doesn't really care for the ideals of the villain, but it's Shit. only in it for the lab and the funding. I'm gonna and the resources. Again. Isk. Isk. Huh? I'll do this last. Ah, big rip. Oh, uh, apparently there's something going on today involving owls. Ah, uh, yes, the superb owl. I'm excited. Yeah. I am very unhappy though because the puppy wolves does NFTs now. Yeah. Everything can't have has good, to be ruined. You can't have good things anymore. Oh, I did see something fun uh, today. Uh, oh. It was it's NFT related, <laughs> uh, but somebody lost all their NFTs and they're mad about it. Because nice. the uh, because the uh, NFT source uh, removed the images from the hyperlinks, and they're like, it's just it's just a meaningless code now. And I'm like, yeah, always but... was. You always never was. owned the picture. You just owned a, a link to the picture. Yeah, and it can be taken down because it's hosted somewhere else, not on the blockchain. Yeah, the only thing on the blockchain is the link. Everybody tells them this. And and they don't care because they because they think it's like a worth a billion dollars. Boom. I hate speculative investment. Like I really do. I cannot wait for the bu bubble to burst and everyone who's invested in NFTs and crypto uh, loses everything. Oh well, it'll never burst because a bunch of businessmen probably have their like hands twenty feet deep in it. So as soon as it starts to go south, the U.S. government is going to pump like a billion dollars into it. Which will immediately be lost. Because that's what they always do. Yay! Yeah. So, like, the bubble will burst and people are going to lose a shit ton of money. You, you heard about in this the... case, I welcome it because it is the, peop the people who will lose money are the people who are literally destroying the planet because of how resource-intensive crypto is. Okay, have you heard about the U.S. government ha buying, like, 14 billion pounds of cheese? No. That's almost as much cheese as I consume on an average Saturday. No, it's 1.4 billion pounds of cheese. So what's going on is the, um, the dairy industry produces way too much dairy, and they're losing money on it. And rather than, you know, invest properly, you know, fix that, they, uh, the U.S. government steps in and is buying it all so the dairy industry doesn't go out of business. So that's like something billion pounds of dairy every year that they're literally giving, that they're re literally reselling back to the schools. And the problem with this is that the dairy industry is just going to keep overproducing dairy because because, the government's, because no matter how much they produce, the government's going to buy all the excess. Yeah. Which gives them incentive to make excess. Yeah, literally. Because that's a guaranteed profit. Yeah. So it's so it's like profit over common sense. And this it's the is the same shit that caused uh, colleges to be so expensive. 
Yeah. Like it, it's the same thing that caused colleges to be so expensive when uh uh or private colleges existed, yeah. Yeah. Hello bear. I want my dragonfly. Thanks for help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. Ooh. Sorry, sorry if I seem a bit distracted. I'm petting my cat. Because he's hanging out with me tonight. Hey, Mikey. Michelangelo. That's fine. I got a dog right here. That's fair. Cats That's and dogs cute. living together. Mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. I love Bill Murray. Yeah. He's, what are he's up to these days? Oh. Uh, probably still lamenting Garfield. <laughs> Have you ever seen Zombieland? Yes. Uh, he was great in Zombieland. Are you, he's he like, made a very convincing zombie. <laughs> yeah. He, he shows up, and it's a shame that they, that they shoot him, but, like, I, I get why. You know, he's dangerous to be kept alive. Yeah, I... It was honestly that gag was great. I love that he died for the sake of a gag. Uh, that was I, I love I love how he's like uh, doing the zombie shuffle down the thing, and the guy freaks out and he immediately shoots him. And it's like, yeah, of course it's gonna happen, you dummies. <laughs> they never dropped their guns. Yeah. Anyway, Bill, Mar uh, Bill Murray went whale watching recently. No. Oh. Other than that, he's just golfing. That's fair. He 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 did that in uh, Space Jam, so I can believe him doing it now. Yeah. He's reliving his Space Jam days. He's going through his midlife crisis <laughs> again. He's like three quarters life. He's good in Scrooge. You ever see Scrooge? A long time ago. Mm. But yeah, he is great in Scrooge. I like, I, I like uh, Christmas Carol because of how many interpretations there are. I, I, my favorite is Muppets Christmas Carol, obviously. Well, Muppets Christmas but Carol I also, is great. Absolutely. Uh, okay, here's Michael my strategy. Game. I go in force. I go in circles and uh, just fire blindly at the uh, battleships with my uh, missiles. Yeah. After like four rounds of this, I'll get them all. Yeah. Um, I also like the Jim Carrey uh, Christmas Carol. That, that's fair. The Jim Carrey one's not bad. It's just weird. Yeah. I like it. I think it's only weird because it's like CG, the same kind that like Polar Express was. Yeah. Jim Carrey God, did our... most of the uh, every single major character did. Uh, yes, he voiced. Uh, he he did voice all the ghosts. He also did the um, mocap role of them too. Uh, that was yeah, originally yeah. the plan for uh, the Polar Express with Tom Hanks. He was gonna oh, he was gonna play everybody, even the little kid. But uh, it was so draining. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine Tom Hanks playing the annoying kid with the glasses. Yeah. So so he was he was gonna play every major character and voice every major character, I believe. But they gave up on that idea because it was like too time consuming and taxing. He was like just driving himself crazy doing it. So it'd probably be very expensive. Voice acting is expensive. I mean, yeah. But, like, if it's one dude and you get him, like, for a bunch of time, then, like, yeah. Probably cheaper that way. Yeah. I mean, you, you know you're going to get a good performance as Tom Hanks. Yeah. My battle's is safe once again. Take this dragonfly. I caught Tweedle. Is it Tweedle D or Tweedle Dumb? It's Tweedle. You'd like to try shooting more battleships. You can do it. Okay, I, I'm not This game is such a mess. <laughs> uh, the, the, apparently, some people are trying to mod a uh, reunited trilogy to have have this game within it. I understand why, but also why. 
Well, uh, it'd be a chance to make this game playable. <laughs> you know, that's fair. Uh, to, to be fair, it, it's enough people that I that they're probably the same amount of people as the staff of uh, Jack Six at Equinox, and they're also not murdering themselves. So, yeah, you know, no, nobody's coming after anybody else with it with an axe. Yeah, nobody's being abandoned in Thailand. Oh my god! <laughs> or was it Taiwan? Oh, it's Taiwan. Which country? Taiwan. Okay, all right. It was the country of Taiwan, right? Oh, okay. For for those who don't know, uh, we we discussed this ages ago. But yeah, last uh, time we played this, go yeah. watch that video after you finish watching this. But uh, long story short, the one of the major executives at a uh, Universal uh, ab abandoned her her uh, ex husband in uh, Taiwan. Yeah, like fire sent him on a business trip and then fired him uh and left him with uh no like hotel or plane back or anything. I mean, he pro he's probably still rich enough, but like the problem is yeah. it doesn't matter how much wealth you have. You're abandoned in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, that's like not a, that's like one of my top 10 countries I don't want to be abandoned in. I mean, it's better than China. Yeah. Now we can't. Now, but the, the the fact that we mentioned Taiwan at all means we can't stream in China anymore. <laughs> oh, that means they don't matter. Uh, eh. And the fact that we refer to China and Taiwan as two separate countries. Fair enough. God, did you hear what China did at the Olympic or after the Olympics? I have not they heard about that. So what they did was they claimed uh they claimed to have gotten the most uh gold medals uh because they were claiming Hong Kong did, 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 and did you Taiwan. See that? Did you see that? Bianca was standing right here, the bunny girl. No, I didn't see it. When I loaded in, uh I'll I'll do it again just to see if like it'll happen. But keep your eye on like this particular patch of ground when I load in. Because um, Bianca appears. She literally just appeared. She, Maybe she, she shows up for like a flash. Okay. Seriously. Maybe it's like Fight Club and it's not actually there. Maybe mm. you were Bianca all along. Maybe. Oh, we're, we're finally getting to enter the new realm. Ooh, the new part of the area. Yeah, are you nice. sniffing my carpet? Oh, I visited my uncle and uh, his wife uh, today. All right. I believe that's called an aunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, why would I call her an insect? Yeah. Um, uh, ah, uh, funny. Uh, but what is? What's the new tutorial? If you are wondering what, what how you're doing, check your atlas. This is literally halfway through the game. <laughs> this is literally halfway through the game at minimum. You, why would you? Oh my god. I wonder steep, if the steep uh, breaths. Steep breaths. Uh, you know what pisses me off so much about the Nintendo, about the Nintendo Direct. Uh, what? The fucking Chrono Cross remake. Like, why not remake Chrono Trigger, the better game? I guess they're thinking about doing Chrono Cross first, and then they're gonna do Chrono Trigger. Okay, but like, Chrono Cross is bad. I never played like, either, so. Uh, I would suggest playing Chrono Trigger and don't play Chrono Cross. Is Chrono Cross the sequel? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I was like, Chrono Cross sounds familiar. <laughs> is it the sequel to Chrono Trigger, or did Chrono Trigger come first? Oh. It is the sequel to Chrono Trigger. Okay, it, maybe they want to do it right this time, you know? But there's been. I mean, here. it'd be... If you want to make it right, you'd have to, like, overhaul the entire story. Maybe that's what it's... they were planning to do. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank goodness they're telling you about challenge portals again. Aren't you excited for challenge portals? 
I am excited for the challenge portal that I've already been introduced to again, again, again. Maybe finally, for once, I will be able to enjoy myself in the game that what I play by doing a challenge again and 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 again. Okay, I think fucked up. I was trying to. Th I I thought there was gonna be like a fire pit up there. No, there wasn't. Yeah, it's rough. Mm, ice breath, ice breath. You know, uh, the ice breath is the power from like uh, Spyro Three. I get. I I guess if anything, that's what they came how, how they came up with like the new thing. Eh, like possibly. Like, oh yeah, Spyro Three K. Spyro 3 introduced uh, Ice Breath. Maybe we should have the next game have Ice Breath too. But what about Zappy Breath? And they're like, oh, Zappy Breath sounds cool. And they just sort of kept like, going like, oh, but what if um, we introduce uh, Laser Breath? And, you know, they just kept doing weird breaths. The, the fire effect isn't working anymore. You notice that? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, apparently uh, Eminem took a knee for Kaepernick in solidarity oh. uh, with Kaepernick during the halftime show. Oh, did, did they do this again or? Oh, wait, was that did that happen last year? It, it must have happened like ages ago. The whole Kaepernick thing was like two years ago. I know him. It's still an ongoing thing. Really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. I I don't know because I, yeah. I because I don't pay attention to sports news. I thought it was I over. Mean, I was like, okay, the whole Kaepernick thing happened. No, no. Uh, I I I do stand with Kaepernick, by the way. I, I do. Yeah. I, I I do feel that you. I feel like that's a poor choice of words. Oh, okay. I yeah, definitely. I, you kneel with Kaepernick. And you kneel with him. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remove my legs at the kneecaps and hobble around like a uh, like a small uh, bleeding uh, sack of meat, screaming in Anywho. agony. Anywho, you you don't need us to say all cops are bastards, but they are. Hello, oh come on! What was what was with that half animation? That's a monkey. Sandra. I found I know, Sandra. But... Nice. Okay. What are her prophecies that you will ignore? I don't know. Okay, they took off without me. <laughs> Look at that ship taking off with me in it, but I definitely was not on it when it took off. Who knows? Maybe I was never here to begin with. Maybe like you were just, never a real person. Yeah. Maybe I was never a real person. Maybe humanity isn't real. Maybe we're all just living the dream. And the dream so like, sucks because uh, it's been corporatized by like five people. So I got into a really stupid argument with someone. Why would you send uh, me this? Why would you do that? Why would who do what? I, I just checked my phone to see what messages are, and I, I checked the uh, the server that we're in together, and I'm like, why would you post that? <laughs> post. I, I, I'm not going to tell you, because oh, what, what, what... that Okay, I thought you meant my server, not your server. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, I regret nothing. Uh, anywho... Yeah, that, um... that's fair. It's fine. Not... Oh, his name is Foamy. Nice. I got into, so, it started out with talking about, I don't know if I talked about this during Gauntlet, uh, I might have, but, <sighs> the conversation began with talking about Uncanny Valley. By the way, for anybody who, uh, who actually is wondering, the game has always run, will always run like this. It will never get better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this, this is, is what good as one it gets. This, this is running at one hundred ten percent. 
Well, to be to be fair, it's running at like sixty six. But like the game, know, the, the game is always yeah. like that. It doesn't matter if I'm running it on a high on a high end GameCube or like the, the best console in the world. It will always. Run. You could run it on a NASA supercomputer. Look at this! Look at this! This this does not belong here. This belongs in a in a in a in a seashell Shit. place. Why why is this uh, random ass sea chest here? Uh, anywho, we were talking about um uncanny valley and someone was talking about like oh hey it's so weird to think that there was something human like uh that hunted early humans in order for uh, uncanny valley to be an evolved thing uh yeah, and that's it's, a scary it's thing to think about it's neanderthal by the way before yeah anybody else. but yeah uh... yeah that's why i said was it was most likely neanderthals they lived at the same time period as the early humans uh and uh or they dangerous. fought yeah yeah so it was probably that and they were like i mean they were like yeah but what if it was something else and I mean, it was like i mean we have evidence that it was we have evidence of neanderthals being the most likely uh reason for it to exist and i'm just i personally will go with the uh theory that has the most evidence i'm gonna throw this out here but what kind of theory is this guy hoping for that's more they, metal they to, than they the... were trying to talk about skinwalkers and oh, wendigos oh, and all that shit. oh that's gross oh yeah to, to be i was gonna i was gonna build up to like oh yeah what's more metal than the idea that alongside your own species is a, like another species that looks nearly identical but once you dead <laughs> that's kind yeah. of metal you know yeah but like like imagine like a sci-fi movie based around that premise where i mean we're, that's where we run into a, body snatchers and where we run into uh like another set of humans on like another us. world us oh yeah us yeah yeah I haven't seen us. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, they, I know, they I know were trying twist. to. They were trying to argue that like uh, it was skinwalkers, uh, and it's like, well, we have evidence that it was most likely Neanderthals, uh, and I'm gonna go with what the evidence says. And they're like, yeah, well, I'm just making a silly little theory, and it's like, my response was, well, it's actually like legitimately dangerous to make theories about the real world without any kind of evidence especially when there's evidence to suggest something entirely different also insanely racist particularly that theory oh the skinwalkers yeah oh my goodness yeah, yeah. i i didn't i did not want to open up that can of worms uh, uh but i did mention that we live in an age where people are making uh conspiracy theories with not only without evidence but contrary to the evidence yeah, uh, that, that's like it, that's never good um, yeah and it has led to a lot of people dying especially in the anti-vax movement my my uncle was uh <laughs> Did not know that flat earthers were a thing, but he was very shocked to discover people are that illiterate. Uh, yeah, my the, the conversation I'm came up when, when, I, when I went to see him. He was like, "They're like, I, I, I was, I can't remember the context. I knew I was making like a joke about like flat Our earthers, first. and he's like, oh, yeah, who believes the Earth is flat?'" And I'm like, "Oh." weirdos do it's an actual thing he's like wait seriously <laughs> yeah like that was actually one of the there was a, flat earth was one of the things uh i mentioned about like dangerous uh because yeah. flat earth yeah it's silly but also it is a dangerous cult-like mindset have you have you seen a inside job yet no, I haven't. It's a good show, and it does tackle the I whole know. flat Earth thing. Uh, there, there's an episode in which it's revealed that flat Earth is made up by one of the uh, side characters as a gag because he's like, it because it drives another character crazy. 
and uh, because the show does like you know, Hollow Earth is their conspiracy theory, you know, not Flat Earth. So what they end up doing is a bunch of Flat Earthers uh, end up holding most of the major cast hostage. And in order to escape, they uh, dump them into Hollow Earth. <laughs> yeah, the um, but yeah, my response uh, was when we, we were talking about how dangerous, like, conspiracy theories contrary to the evidence can be. My response was, Flat Earth is an extremely dangerous ideology because of how anti-science it is. Like, it's fun to make fun of Flat Earthers, but we still need to recognize just how dangerous the rhetoric is because they legitimately cannot be reasoned with, and in any attempt at reasoning is hand-waved as government propaganda. Uh, Fair enough. Anywho, the I, I, do, I do recommend Inside Job for anybody listening because that is a legitimately good show. Just as long as you're aware that it's all making fun of conspiracy theories. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, Mothman. Mothman shows up. Nice. Uh, Mothman runs of... the HR department. <laughs> of course he does. Uh, so the conversation from then had shifted to like Matrix because someone brought up, like someone jokingly said, oh, we're just living in a simulation you know, the Matrix and all that, like, as a joke. Um, and so I decided to shift the conversation away from... The Matrix. That, uh, that, no, that, that topic over to the Matrix, okay. Yes, yes, and I brought up, like, hey, did you know that the red pill was estrogen and the blue pill well, was Well, you talked Kozak? about this yesterday. Okay, I don't oh, think... Oh, I did? <laughs> yes, you did. This, specifically this bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so you you talked about all of this yesterday anyway, but uh, definitely this bit. I don't think we need to go over this again. <laughs> uh, okay, so then yeah, that, I guess that's just some backstory for a, a conversation we uh, for a topic that was discussed. Oh, you, during you, the you, you, did, you did this finale. entire thing yesterday. You, the the new bit was the Wendigos, but oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can't find the exact message. If you want to hear that, uh, probably not. Okay. I I I don't want to hear about um. Uh, you're not supposed to say that word. What? You know. The W word. You're not supposed to say it. Oh. You, you know you know how yesterday you got like miffed at me because I said like uh, Jip. And yeah. Yeah yeah. Don't don't say the W word. I. Didn't know that. It, what's the context? I, I did not uh, know that. So it was... Saying the name gives it power. Oh, okay. So it's one of those kind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you had me scared that I like said a slur by accident. <laughs> uh. Uh, um. It, it, it generally you just respect the wishes, you know. Yeah, yeah. D don't don't say the name of pure evil. Yeah. Is that that's what they are? And that name <laughs> is Yahweh. That's going to piss off a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as if Christians actually believe in Yahweh anymore. Yeah, no, they, they, they believe, like... They believe in point, Yeehaw Jesus. <laughs> they're, like, at least here in America, Christianity is worshipping a golden calf. Like, that's how far gone it is from, like... That, that's how far gone it is. Yeah. There's a YouTuber I follow that was able to. He's an atheist, and okay. this was, the post was done like as a joke, making fun of all the uh, uh, televangelicals uh, that are like making prophecies about who the Antichrist is, and made a decent case for uh, the 45th president having been the antichrist because <laughs> mm. he does fit the criteria right up to the false prophets making claims i uh, i recent I, I in one of my uh in one of the sort of his life frequent um there's this really nice lady who middle-aged and she uh she's very christian uh but she does very much hate mega churches Good. Mega churches are like, if the real, like, if the biblical Jesus was around, 
he would destroy he would burn mega churches to the ground i just imagine I... like this dude from like uh the middle east showing up in like random ass america with like a torch in his hand just setting fire to like <laughs> these mega churches and people are like stop you can't do that he makes the lepers walk again and uh <laughs> flees <laughs> Yeah, oh, there, this, there this is, is this a... my favorite bit. Oh, look at this! It, it, I get to slide, sliding puzzles. Oh okay. hell yeah! I'm always a fan of slide levels. Yeah, that's why I was kind of disappointed by the slide levels in It Takes Two, Be, like it, specifically in the ice section because it was just so short. That's fair. It it was fun. Don't get me wrong, but I just wish there was more of it. Yeah. So so for this, I just have to make sure that I get to uh, the end. Get to the end in time. Yeah. And, I had, to, and the... I had to hit the flags, as many flags as possible. Just... Because they add, they give you extra time to yeah. finish. I, I, I do enjoy this one a lot. It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, th This game is not great, but, like, the sliding uh, bit is a lot of fun. Yeah. You know what, uh... <laughs> you know what slide... What had a really good slide, uh... In it. No! I just Aww. fell off. Dang it. Okay. Loading, please wait. DK64. Not the first slide, but the second one. Mm. The first one is is the devil. Like, the Fair first enough. one is terrible. Because uh, you have to get 50 coins and get first place. Mm -hmm. And it's got t turns, and it's only on the second level of the game. Ah, oh, fair so enough. So it is an insane difficulty Right, yeah. Uh, a lot yeah. of old games do that, because the idea is they want you to go back and uh, replay levels you've already done. Yeah. Uh, but the second one, which is on the penultimate level, is easy as balls. Hmm. Like, uh, it, it's not sliding the entire way down. There are certain portions where okay, you have th this to... one th uh, this route is so much easier than the other route by the way oh, yeah look at how many flags there are yeah and they're all like these really high high point ones like why did you do the other one i, I didn't try doing the other one simply because i'm like i i avoid it normally so i'm like oh let's see what, oh, let's what's see over here it comes out yeah 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 so so this one's kind of easy uh the next one's harder um, because it's like a tighter time limit, but I already yeah. did this, so I win. I think DK sixty four has some pretty decent like levels like that. I cause... got Qbert, but not oh, Q. Nice. It's a C. So, I wrote um... this monkey didn't tell you about the second challenge. It's a monk monkey. Oh my god, I just got that. Yeah, Sun Wukong. Yeah. Sung, Sung Wukong is um, yeah from a from a myth point. Yeah. yeah so this is the exact learned... same. This is the exact same one, just tighter. Yeah, I learned recently that uh, Vegeta, Nappa, and um, Raditz are references to uh are also references to characters in Journey to the West, which I did not know. Oh, which ones were they, specifically? Uh, I don't know, but from what I hear, uh, and I could have been misinformed, uh, so don't quote me on this, but apparently in Journey to the West, there are three uh, other cosmic uh, monkeys, and Sun Wukong kills one of them. Hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure that would have been covered in overly sarcastic productions by now. But, it was. Uh, oh really? In the super, I, I believe it was in the Super Saiyan one. Oh, oh, the, oh the no, super no, Saiyan the pure, maybe, maybe it was Pure of Heart. I don't know. They've talked about. They've had a lot of episodes about uh, Dragon Ball Z, but I know for a fact it was overly sarcastic. Which. Uh, okay, uh, then then what you're referring to I, is the uh, Super Saiyan saga, a prophecy done right. Yes. Yet. Oh, you should see it. It's really good. Cause... Yeah, I mean, he's going to recommend to me, so I'm like, yeah, I'll do it eventually. Yeah, I I went on an overly sarcastic binge a uh, couple weeks ago, and uh, 
it's a really good one because it does really emphasize how like yeah nowadays like everyone knows what super saiyan is but like but nobody knew at the time yeah nobody knew at the time and it does do a decent job of building it and having red uh false like red herrings because nobody knows what it looks like but it is but it's definitely one of those things where when it happens you can tell that is what it is Mm. like is it just is it a new form like the great ape is it uh just a saiyan that's reached like maximum strength is it broly is it broly uh and then it ends up being oh oh yeah no this this is definitely it's super saiyan like i i do like those kinds of Big reveals, yeah, yeah, where they like tease something and they don't really elaborate on exactly what it is, and there is a very real chance that it just doesn't exist. But when it happens, you get it. You, yeah, I I, I got Shadow the Hedgehog. I got Shadow the Hedgehog. (laughs) Give me a number between one and three hundred forty-three. Uh, seventy-seven. All right, let's look up what number seventy-seven is. But you can just look that up as like so, so great. Oh, that's the wrong website. List of Shadow the Hedgehog endings. Uh, Legend of Shadow. You know that's very fitting. What's uh, two hundred eleven? Sinful Protector. Ooh, that's also a good one. I'm going to yeah. be honest, like, all the uh, Shadow the Hedgehog endings titles are, like, so good that it's, like, wow. I mean, I mean, you can joke about it, like, how ridiculous it is, but it's, like, it's also... My mistake. It was 326, not 300 whatever I said. Oh. I'm pretty sure I said more than 326. Uh. It, it's, a, it's a number. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, the pow, ending... pow, pow, guns, boom, 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 die, destruction. Durr. You could make a, a mid two thousands, uh, uh, edgy, dark, gritty movie with all these titles. Probably. Like uh, some motherfuckers out. So, so, some. A some reason to are live. Always trying to uh, skate up hit ice skate uphill. I just died. Hell, I you, think this is my first could... death. Oh, God, that nice. sucks. Uh, you died on the slide. No, I didn't. You fell off. I, I fell off, but that doesn't count as a death. Oh, okay. Some of these you could even turn into, like, you could even make into games. Like, look at this. Ardent Val, Howl of Solitude, God of War, Throne of God. Okay, to be fair, God of War is an amazing game. I know. I'm gonna, hey, maybe I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna... what... Maybe I'm pretty sure God of War came out first, but... Well, I mean, God of War is, like... The actual God of War, Ares, existed before the game. Fair enough. <laughs> Who was it that tried to tell me that uh, the Goddess of Ghosts was created by Rick Riordan? I, I want to say it was Chalkvi, but... I, you know I'm a big fan of Greek mythology, and one of my favorite gods is the goddess of ghosts, the one who's ha- got half a face burned. Um, and uh, what was that one time that Tumblr invented a goddess? Oh, that's what Chalky thought that was. Yeah, because uh, that's the thing because they stole her backstory, like the half burned face thing. Yeah, yeah. For uh, for the uh, fake goddess, Mysterian. Uh. It, yes, Mysterian is the Tumblr created god. Yeah, that that yeah. that's the part that really messes with people because they they hear the god of ghosts and like related to Hades and stuff, and they're like, wait a minute, isn't that that fake Tumblr one? Technically, her technically, uh, Melano's uh face isn't half burned; it's half decayed. Oh, she's but... ripping off uh, hell from um Norse mythology. There's always overlap well... in that kind of stuff. I mean, which came first, Norse or Greek? Because she's um, like an old Greek. 
Do, to she's be, not to like be fair, uh, to, 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 to be fair, the Nordic gods are like so insanely old. We don't actually know how old they are. Oh, uh, actually, because whoa, because because they're all built off of like uh, even older stories, you know. Yeah, like Mesopotamia and shit. Uh, she's younger than I thought she was. Actually, she's second century or third century. Jesus. Hello, there's a key. Yay. This key is out huh. of place, but it's mine now. Weird. I thought she was like one of the ancient, ancient ones. No, I no, new. I fell. Ah, it burns. Ah, hit. Ah, boo, boo, boo on all of you. Shame, shame on you. Boo, boo. I I think that's our obligatory uh, Princess Bride reference for the stream. Thank God you caught that. <laughs> of course I did. I, I fucking love the Princess Bride. <laughs> I know we reference it at least once each stream. We didn't we didn't reference it yesterday. I'm pretty sure we did. We might have wanted to, but we didn't. No, I know for a fact that I referenced it. Oh. Uh, because I. Maybe I, you I did. don't remember I'm, what the reference. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, what, whoa look! I, I just clipped what? right through. That's bull. <laughs> oh, you're flying back into the level. Yeah, I'm flying back into the level. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow, this level really changed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Melano is the uh, uh, Greek goddess of uh, of ghosts. Uh, she's a lot more recent than I thought. Uh, she's uh, is she the second the goddess? Or third century. Is she also the goddess of spooky, scary skeletons. Spooky, scary skeleton shivers down the spine. Creepy ghouls that haunt your soul. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, uh, they, they so, claim this is a big deal. Watch out for for enemy attacks from below. You might get killed. And I'm like, no, I'm just gonna do this. Done. So yeah, the the Greek created uh, goddess uh, Mesperian is uh, the, the Tumblr created a court, one. Or, yeah, the Tumblr created. Sorry, the Tumblr created uh, goddess Mesperian is supposed to be the goddess of torture uh and punishment yeah that that that's it it's just edgy even enough though... that it's just edgy enough that people are without it who aren't even thinking about it would be like wait a minute isn't that just the, the goddess of ghosts <laughs> yeah even though nemesis is the goddess of punishment i mean there's overlap probably uh, imagine going in for like the Greek god turnouts, and someone's like, "Okay, we need a god of cheese." I'm pretty sure isn't that Apollo? Is Apollo the god of cheese? Uh, no, it's Aristius. Oh, yeah. Uh, Absolutely wild. You're, you're you're learning new things every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've been learning American diner lingo. Oh, nice. Uh, Aristius is the god of shepherds, cheese making, beekeeping, honey, and mead. Okay. Also, olive growing oil. Basically, farming. Okay. So I'm, I'm about to hit you with some American diner lingo, and I want you to guess what they mean without Google searching. All right. Adam and Eve on a raft. Oh, this is. You've been watching Emperor's New Groove. No, I. Adam and Eve on the raft. I want to say, uh, I know the raft is toast. Adam and Eve. I want to say it's um, eggs and sauce on toast. Poached eggs on toast. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was close. Adam and Eve wreck them. Uh, oh, wreck them. Yeah. Uh, scrambled. Cool. Uh, eighty-six. Oh, 86 is get rid of it. Yep. 
Good. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, two dots and a dash. Uh, two eggs and bacon. Good. Nice. Uh, burn the British. Uh, I burn the British. Uh, biscuits. Toasted English muffin. Damn it. Oh, here's here's a cutscene midway through the game. <laughs> oh wow! Re oh yeah, I forgot Ripto. Yeah, he's he's the main antagonist of this entire yeah, game. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm stuck. Who voices Ripto? I don't know. Let's look at it. Also, these guys talk. That is so. Gross. Greg Berger. Greg Berger. Well, that's for no, that's for reignited. No, if it's Greg Berger, uh, he he voiced him in the original too. Oh, okay. Yeah, he also voiced the original Hunter. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's see what else? He was Grimlock. From what? Transformers. Oh shoot! Me Grimlock. Like the original, like the original Transformers series. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. What else? Is yeah, that's oh, this, this, Is this our uh, IMDb hour? Yes, it's the IMDb hour. You know, we don't do this uh, when it's like uh, you, me, and like three other people. But when it's just like you and well, me, we're, we're, it's mostly IMDb and uh, American Diner lingo. Uh, wax. Wax? Yeah, what's wax? Uh. Oh, uh, cut, remove the crust? No. Oh. Oh, did, did you see Bianca? Did you see Bianca? No. God dang it! I, I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> I can't believe Bianca is gaslighting you. <laughs> I will watch the footage again when this is over. And I will send it your way, and I'll be like, look, you can see her right there, and she's, she's mocking me. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm yeah, trying he to headbutt voices him. Grimlock in most of the stuff. Oh, he voiced Odie oh, in the Garfield show. Oh, by the way, uh, Wax is American Cheese. Ah. Uh. Let's see. How many do I have? I think I have enough to try to go for these done. Uh, actually, it might be um, Honey Marsh. That's... Let's check the app. He was in Brutal Legend. Oh, who was he in Brutal Legend? Glitter Fists. Oh, he was those guys. Okay. <laughs> you know, I would love to stream Brutal Legend sometime, but like, it, it wouldn't be worth it. We write music. Yeah, because it was, it, it, the the game is basically level to rock and roll, and you can't have rock and roll without the music. But like most of it is is copyright, so it's like its own super minefield of like. Yeah. Look, I, I would love to do the level where you're running for your life while being chased by giant chicken walkers through the palace of a glam rock artist you just murdered. But I can't do that because they play uh, Dragon Force through the fire and flames. So, God, if we could get around the copyright, I would absolutely play Guitar Hero 3. Oh, can I, can I just get on? I'll try it. Oh, do I not have enough? Am I, am I a little short? Oh, okay. I have to talk to him and then I can get on. Okay. Uh, how long have you been streaming? Uh, probably like an hour and a half. Let me check. Uh, uh, an hour and 19 minutes. Wow. Yeah. We could go for another like 20... Okay, Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. Uh, then, I'll, then I'll stop. I'll, I'll finish this level and then I'll stop. 
Oh, he voiced Agent K in the Men in Black TV series. Oh, I love that show, by the way. Oh, yeah, it was great. Oh, he voiced a character in an episode of Static Shock. Oh, we keep going back to Static Shock. So Static weird. Shock is a great... Static Shock deserves an edgy Netflix uh, series. <laughs> I can believe that, yeah. Uh, uh, no, like, in, I would an H- in an HBO it, Max series. It's, it's CW. It's it's Static it's Shark it's it's, it's, CW. It's, it's it's Warner Brothers, DC. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, I I'd watch a grimdark uh, Static Shock CW show. Yeah. As long as the writers of Flash aren't involved. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I think that I'm, they... I'm just imagining Static Shock stopping in the middle of like a gu- the uh, the school shooting episode and being like, "Hey, man, maybe you shouldn't shoot kids," and then like just unloads. <laughs> oh, God. I I think that God the Flash is terrible. I think that honestly, a big part of the reason why the flash is so terrible is because the riders just don't get the flash's powers and like or they're too lazy like 90 percent of the problem or of the villains flash can defeat in less than the blink of an eye and he chooses not to the man who walks in the mirrors. His power is exclusively the ability to walk in the mirrors. What does he do? He walks he in the walks mirrors the mirror. slowly at regular human speed. Also, the villains just in- inexplicably disappear in like three seconds as soon as they walk out the door. Uh, like... just, just imagine it's like in season like 20. They reveal that there's like a been a secret villain organization this entire time that just kidnaps the villains the instant they walk outdoors, so Flash can't rescue, can't chase them. Watch it be led by Polka Dot Man, and it's the one from Suicide Squad, and he comes back and he's like, "I am actually the most dangerous being in the world," and then he actually is. Honestly, I would love it if one of the cheesy forgotten. Uh... The Batman weasel. villain ended up being like an actual major threat. Like I, I really like how the Telltale Batman games handled the Riddler because he was actually terrifying. He was actually a threat, and I'm excited for the Robert Pattinson Batman because the Riddler is also looking to be uh, pretty scary. You know, one of my um, favorite things about the Riddler is that his. Um... His OCD in regards to uh, riddles is so intense that even in crimes where he could get away with it if he uh, made up a riddle that has no answer or something, he he, he can't do it because he's he's yeah, tried. He they, they tried. To, they, yeah, <laughs> I know the polar bears. Um, he there there was the episode where uh, of the Batman which did that really really well because he was leading all these fake riddles around but he couldn't help but to leave a a, a clue in those riddles to hint that they are fake riddles and that there is a real uh riddle like hidden between the lines kind of oh, thing that that's, that's and, clever yeah and the last riddle the answer was supposed to be polar bears indicating the zoo, but Batman was like, but there are no polar bears in the South Pole. Uh, they're only in the North Pole. This riddle is wrong, and the Riddler doesn't make wrong riddles, so there must be something more. And then he put the pieces together and was like, wait, all these riddles have one thing in common, and that is the museum. Oh. That's clever. Um, yeah. You know what my favorite episode of the Batman is? What? It's the one where he fights the guy who can tra- who can travel through time. Yes. He can rewind. Because he wins. He wins, but at the cost of his daughter. His son. And that's what causes. Was it son or daughter? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a son. 
he he wins, but at the cost of his child, and his child is why he was doing these things to begin with. Uh, and so that puts him in such a rage uh, that he bends space time to the moment where he like turned to the life of crime and chooses to not, and then that rewrites. The... He killed Batman. Like, yeah, he had it, killed it, Batman, it, it, it and he went back in Batman time to dying. stop that. Yeah, yeah, it, Batman and the guy's child both die. He is one of the few. He is one of the best because he wasn't really a villain. He was. He was, a, he was a villain because that's what the uh, world treated him as. He's he, what we did was uh, attempt to steal a pocket watch. From, yeah. like, the place he worked at because he was, like, absolutely broke because he was being underpaid. Yeah. And then because of, like, accidents that happened outside of his control, he basically got put away for, like, se several life. years. Yeah. Yeah, life until he, like, the ticking of the clock, like, he managed to unlock time travel out of sheer spite. And, yeah, like, he... but But it wasn't like... It wasn't regular time travel. It was like a uh, Groundhog Day style. Yeah. Well, not Groundhog Day. He, it was he, rewinding. He, he got it was to, redo. Yeah, he he got to rewind time up to like five minutes, and he's like, five minutes. That's all I could do. A lifetime of waiting. A lifetime of pain. And for what? Five minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, you so... took my life from me, so I'm going to. <laughs> Uh, th th it yeah. is a good episode. Like, it you? is a fantastic episode because, like, he's able to take on the entire Justice League by uh, safe scumming. Oh, he, he, no, he doesn't take on the Justice League. Uh, it's only Batman at that point. Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. Oh, okay, weird. I thought that he went up against like the Flash or something because this was after they introduced the Justice League. No, like in they, the background, they, it happens before the Justice League. Really. I, I think so. I thought it was final season. No, it, I'm it, gonna look it, it up. It, it's before the final season, uh, because I never okay. saw the final season. So what? So what uh, have happened? The final season is the one that has like the just. They don't do anything, but they are there. Okay. Like it's not about them. Yeah, they, they do the alien invasion episode, and then they reveal the Justice League. So. Yeah, yeah but this this, ha the... this the, I believe that's a story that happens before the Justice League appears. So. Oh, okay. I, I I might just be misremembering. Yeah. But yeah, he is like, he's a great character. He's because he's not really a villain. Oh, have Have you noticed how they're doing the uh, the trigger for the uh, for the pipes for for the uh, for the thing that I'm breaking? Yeah, you have to breathe fire on the valves. Yeah, but it but that's not the trigger. They have an invisible pot behind each. One of these that, that oh. just breaks and you breathe fire on it. That that's what that's what's doing it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's clever. That's like the the signs behind the doors in uh, Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Because uh, in Mario Galaxy they put signs behind the doors that are locked that say the store is locked or no one's home. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. God, well, I struggle. You know what my favorite episode of the Batman was? Oh, uh, what? The Joker putty. Oh, that's the one where the Joker uh, makes Clayface, right? Yes. I really like Clayface's character in the Batman. It's very well done, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very... He, he's basically... He basically serves the purpose of Harvey Dent. Yeah, I I, I agree. They they introduced yeah. a new character, an original character, just for the Batman, and yeah, then and they he, uh, give you an entire season with him. And it's like then two they, seasons. Uh, no, it's it's, just, it's a full season. He changes at the at the end of the first season. And I thought that was the second. I believe maybe it's at the start of the second season, but it is just the first season in some comics, I guess.
Um, but yeah, it, it's it, you, we spend like an entire season with him as like a major character, and then he changes into Clayface at like the end of season one, after like a, a penultimate episode with the Joker, and then it's like the storyline happens and he gets a uh, how do you fight and he's like oh he's he's gonna be fine, and then it, he turns out he isn't. <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me that dragonfly. Yeah, you're right. Cause the, the rubber. Oh yeah, cause the season one finale was a two-parter: the rubber face of comedy and the clay face of tragedy. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I've never seen what this does on human flesh before. <laughs> Another good episode was the uh, Mad Hatter one. So, so you know the guy who voices uh, Joker in uh, the Batman. He voices a uh, character in Ratchet and Clank. There was actually a big outcry that he was, that he was one of the only actors who wasn't returning to voice uh, his character in the movie. It's so hard to look up. I, I didn't hear anything you said. If you were saying something. No, I, I didn't. I was okay. looking something up, and I just said it's so hard to look up information on the Batman, the animated one, because the live-action movie with Robert Pattinson has is the called same The name. Batman. Yeah, so it, it, all the results are coming up for that. But I also can't type The Batman Animated because that pulls up Batman The Animated Series. Uh, try the year. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. That that that's my go to for like a lot of that stuff. Just type in the year as well. Yeah, the Batman two thousand four. No. I got Let's glory. See who the Joker was. I miss Adam West. Was he in the show? He was the mayor. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Oh. Ah, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson. We yeah, actually he... looked him up recently. Yeah, what did we look him up for? Uh, I don't recall. But he's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he was Gantu. Oh yeah, in, he was, uh... was Gant Gantu in uh, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, I, I, I love Lilo and Stitch. That's a great movie. It is. I really wish that like they finished the scene that what that didn't make it past uh, storyboarding. The one where. Uh, the one with the uh, uh, the tourism, tsunami. yeah, and the tsunami warning or yeah. the tsunami uh, I, warning. I, I, I get, I get why it was removed because it's really is a complete alienating. Yeah. It, it it is both alienating and it doesn't fit the rest of the movie. Like it, it, it's it's a hard swerve into a serious uh, situation, okay. and then like it never comes up again in the rest of the movie. So I get why it was removed. Yeah, but it's but also like, it, it, as it, an isolated it, scene, it is really good. It is a very good isolated scene. Uh, a lot of Lilo and Stitch is very good, and even in isolated scenes, like I do oh, love yeah. all the. Okay, to be fair, as a kid, I knew there were more uh, experiments uh, than, and people were like, "Oh, I didn't know there was more experiment." Experiments other than such. I'm like, of course there were more experiments. They showed them because like the trial was like, you don't think I'd make like a genetic experiment? And then they show Stitch and he's like, more than once. And then they show like the silhouettes of like hundreds. No, they, they don't. They don't. They don't. No, they don't. You just made that up. Are you sure? I you don't don't gaslight that. me. I've seen the movie. I know what's in there and not in there. I would have swore they did like they, they don't. They they don't be, because because in, in in the in the movie proper they uh the first movie proper they don't reveal there's more experiments. But in the comics, the comics they reveal there are more experiments. Uh, like six to uh six to what was it like six to five? Yeah, in, in yeah, the, it, be, yeah before the uh movie even came out. Uh, they were doing promotional comics uh, about Lilo and Stitch, and one of the promotional comics was Gantu in his lab, 
where he was hanging out with Ruben and some of the other experiments before the uh, military showed up and arrested him. So I knew Ruben was a thing for like the, the longest time as a kid because I was like, oh yeah, there's, there's more experiments. Duh. <laughs> Okay, this one's easy. I just gotta get to the bottom of the slide before the B does. And this BAI is so jank. I could I could fail a million times and I'd still get down before him. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking through uh I'm looking through Kevin Michael Richardson's IMDB. Yeah, he, trying to He was in Ratchet remember... Blank, the first one. Yeah, I don't remember what else he was in that we looking him up for. Uh, keep looking. Maybe he's in something. I am. Let's see. Was, was he the, uh, was he the... And he was Romulus in Star Versus. Oh, was, was he, uh, is, I'm, I'm trying to think. Maybe he was the voice of the Cheshire Cat in, uh, Alice Madness Returns. Maybe. It Did does you... sound like something we've looked up fairly recently. Have you ever... I, I really do love uh, Alice. The the American McGee Alice games are so good. And it's a real shame that uh, he, he, the development on the new one has been, like, so elongated. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty rough. I really like the uh, aesthetic of it. Uh, I I think that it's got a really interesting take on uh, Alice's on Alice. issues. Alice in Wonderland, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are like, "Oh, it's just the Tim Burton movies," and I'm like, "No, it came out." No, first. it existed before the Tim Burton movies, and also the Tim Burton movies never went that dark. I I mean, the Cheshire Cat in uh, Alice Man in the first Alice game literally gets crushed to death. And, and I mean, they all come back to life, but like legitimately, it, it's like, oh god, there's blood and guts everywhere. Good job, Spyro. Yeah. You managed to catch that uh, bee that managed to get stuck on a wall midway, halfway up the uh, the the water slide. Okay, I'm trying to figure out like if I should go on to like the next area or not, or, oh. if, I, or if I should hang That's out a... here for a bit. You know, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson voiced one of the best villains of Samurai Jack. Domingo? Yep. Domingo, Domingo, the it, 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 it was either that or... Um... Or Dust Samurai. <laughs> and I don't. And I, 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 I don't. I don't think the Samurai counts as a villain. Though. Um, God, I really. Oh, have like... you noticed I'm not actually moving? <laughs> huh? Oh, this game is so jank. There is like an entire section where, oh, look, his wings aren't even moving. Oh, Jesus! The game is so janky, and I love it. Its development is like such a mess. I'm like, yeah, I get why. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Domongo is one of the best villains in. He's got such an interesting concept, and he was like one of the ones that came the closest to killing Jack through sheer attrition. Uh, through, through sheer attrition. Too too bad uh, he uh, was dumb enough to talk about like his plan to destroy Aku when he beat Jack. Uh, like the only way, the only reason he was defeated was because Jack was able to outsmart him. He found out how his power worked and uh, undid yeah, it. Yeah, went inside uninhibited. Yeah, and freed everyone. Let let me see. I check, check the atlas. What's next? What's next? Okay. Um, the monkey monster is. I have seven of ten. Eight of ten. I can do these done. How many do I have? I have 53 out of 90. Yeah, so, so if I go to the Thieves' Den and then Jurassic Jungle, uh, I pr probably have, like, enough for Jurassic Jungle just if I do, like, a Thieves' Den. 
so let's go to Dragon Realms. Yay! By the way, watch, watch, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Uh, Bianca's gonna appear. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm watching the screen. I feel like this is like the pitch drop experiment. This is uh, this is Gaslight Girl Boss Gatekeep all over again. <laughs> All right, I'm watching the screen. Duke? It's, Duke, it's, bl move. it's black. It's black. Yeah. Loading, please wait. Duke. There she is, blink. It is just, just for like the I small... Don't see her. For like the shortest of moment, like left side, right above Spyro's head. You can just make out, her. like, a, you can make her out appearing and then disappearing really fast. I did not see her. Also, uh, I was kind of distracted by my dog. Well, my sister's dog. <laughs> uh, uh, I must sound like the craziest person in the world. Oh, God. But I I'll swear look, to goodness, it's there. It She's up. there. I'll look it up whenever it's posted. I'll take a screenshot. I'll, I'll, I'll move it at like one frame per second if I have to. But dear God, it's real. I swear I'm not crazy. I'm not going mad. Is it for like just a single frame or something? Just like a single frame. Just there for like the briefest of moments. Maybe your game's haunted. Okay. It, it, we've been playing for an hour 41 minutes. Uh, do we want to call it uh, quits? For tonight and leave the finale for like the next stream if we ever do another one i mean we're probably gonna do another one whenever we don't have like something else a to game do. To play. yeah this is our like this is what we default to whenever we uh i need to find like, have... another game to default to just to be safe <laughs> yeah i was thinking like we should make an among us uh, uh among us overlay that way we can <sighs> That way we can default to that. Yeah, well, I would like to thank everybody for coming to the stream. Um, my entire body feels stiff and sore, and I am slowly hallucinating the heat of the universe. Oh my goodness, the waves are coming down upon me. Uh, so, so uh, look at the D&D the the &D videos, Curse of Strahd, and World of uh, here. And uh, our other games, like uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, which just wrapped up yesterday. Uh, we're doing Mario and Luigi Super Zero Saga now. And, um... Yeah. That seems and, uh, Yeah, uh, join us next week as we're going to have a whole new... We're going to have two new Let's Plays going on. Oh yeah, uh, we don't know what they are yet, we, but we're gonna we're gonna fight each other to the death over what. I it know is. what I'm gonna be playing. Fair enough. Uh, I don't right. know what I'm gonna be playing, but I will find out <laughs> when I think of what, it. What is the comment challenge for today? Uh, what's a horrible nightmare creature that keeps appearing in your screen that nobody else believes in? Yeah, mine is the uh, Bitcoin from uh, the Crypto Land commercial. <laughs> okay, one of my favorite things is that somebody yeah, mine made is the book. What somebody made a? Uh... It's one of those fake Twitter accounts. Like they just make shit up. It's like yeah, but but they make this very convincing argument that um, pointy from that Bitcoin thing. Is a stolen asset from a uh, from a uh, old mobile gotch, um old mobile gotcha spots game. game spots game. Oh my god! They, they, I... they have like a photo and they're like, uh, apparently, uh, Coiny, you can't catch a break. <laughs> oh god, I I hope that gets like big in. You know what I mean. I hope that yeah. like reaches the mainstream. Yeah, uh, uh, it, it, it's funny. I thought it was like absolutely hilarious, oh, but uh, apparently the guy okay. who made Coiny it does say that he uh, got like a hired a Pixar dude to help him design him, which is absolutely uh, bonkers. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Um, 
Because they've lied so many times. Fair like, enough. they're lying about the fucking pigeon. Uh, by the way, I did find out why we were looking up Kevin Michael Richardson. Mm. Uh, he voices the father of number five. From... And also from uh, Kids Next Door. Why were we looking that up? I don't remember, but we were looking up... Like, I, I we were looking up random shit from uh from kids next door at some point like i don't think we've ago. ever talked about kids next door he voiced skulker in uh danny phantom oh, that's good okay uh i do like kids next door kids next door is a great series okay with all that Absolutely. said with nothing left to say good night everybody good night everybody i i just forgot how to hit the button for a moment oh god <laughs> okay Stop streaming.